Hey guys, today we are going to talk about something surprising, but surprising in a good way. The September promo is a good one. It's Fatal Push. If you don't know why Fatal Push is a good one, it's a $9 on common and non-foil and over $40 as a foil. So many people don't actually have copies of Fatal Push yet. The FNM promos will be a great way to pick them up. And they've done a good job. A for Hub is coming soon. I will talk a little bit more about the five most recent promos. And they are doing a better job. Uh, it definitely was much worse six months ago when you look at the next six months of promos versus the last six months. Now, this is a good way to encourage players to go to the local game store, which is the bloodline of Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering is based on community, and you can have online communities, but it's just not the same as a game store. I do hope Wizards of the Coast continues on with printing better promos. That's the way. When they printed the Path to Exile, as well as the Visions promo. So many people showed up because it really gives you something to play for. The top eight is every night is supposed to receive this card. So it's not insanely difficult. It depends on how big your FNM is. My FNM normally is 12 people, but during the Path to Exile and the Visions, it was easily 24, 30 people. And that's how you're going to get more people if they're going to play for a promo, which the the original foil copy is over $40 as of today. Now, the promo version will not be as expensive. I expect the promo version to be more align, more along the lines of the non-foil, about $8. But you never know. You honestly never know because the FNM Path to Exile promo, the Rebecca... Uh, I forget her last name, Grok or Gray. Path to Exile promo is extremely valuable. I was checking its price up today. It's about $17 or $18. So that is a very pricey card. So anywhere between $9 to $20. I mean, here you can see TCG player is trying to tell me to buy from this seller who's selling it for $9 lightly played, not even free shipping, and he has one of them left. Yes, that is the actual price today of Fatal Puss. It's hard to believe an uncommon can be three times the cost of a booster pack, but we are in a situation where everyone needs multiple playsets of this, or at least one playset. But if you can get multiple ones, then why not, right? Because it's always going to be a good card in Modern. It's always going to be a good card in Legacy. I don't have any concern about the power level of this card. It is very obvious unlike Amaket. When I look at Amaket, I look at the cards and I say to myself, hmm, I don't know if the power level is good enough for Modern or Legacy. Now, should the meta, the meta is different, right? You might have a card that's really strong. Even Tomogorf is not always in the meta. And when it's not in meta, even though it's a very strong card, it's the best two drop in the history of magic for a creature, it's just not going to be played. Right? Death Shadow is bigger, so Death Shadow will be played because it is also a strong card. But I don't think many people will say on a one-to-one -one power level, Tomogorf is weaker than Death Shadow. Death Shadow just has the right tools around it to make it bigger right now. So there's more graveyard hate against the Tomogorf, and there's easier ways to lose life for the Death Shadow in today's meta. But that could all change. So Fatal Push is one of those cards that is super obvious. This card will be played until forever. And getting a foil copy of it will be very cool. Now, here's the interesting part in my criticism about Fatal Push. I do love the card, but the artwork shows a guy being kicked. There's no other way to say it. He's not being pushed. He's being kicked. The new artwork shows a person falling, which could be pushed. And for OCD reasons, I prefer the new artwork, although the old one I think is more epic. If it was called Fatal Kick, if it was called Fatal Kick, this would be such a fantastic artwork. I honestly have never even seen a foil of this yet in the wild. 
I don't know who's collecting them or who's paying forty dollars for the foil versions of these promo or of these non promos, but there's are people interested in this. So the question is, is the new artwork better than the old one? I would say it is a wash for the reasons I stated. But having more copies of a seven dollar uncommon or I keep calling it seven dollars because it's unbelievable it's nine right now. A nine dollar uncommon is always good. I, it's fantastic, right? To have a nine dollar uncommon be in a set today is, I think, very healthy, and it's something that if Wizard of Coast can take advantage of via F and M promos or other promotional materials, it will drive a lot of people who normally do not play at a game store into the game store in September. Uh, a for Hub is also a good one. A for Hub will always see play. It's a strictly better version of Tendo Ice Bridge. Nintendo Ice Bridge used to be a really expensive card back in, I mean, still probably five bucks now. So there you go. Um, that's probably the way to do it. Print really pushed on commons and have the uncommons be FNM promos because you know that your FNM promos will be on commons. I hope they have something cool for Iconic Masters when Iconic Masters comes out in November. And I hope they have something really cool for the, you know, even commander promos and just give more valuable promos. And I guarantee you, you'll take care of the problem that stores are now facing that no one's showing up to their uh, local game store. Because if no one shows up to my local game store, I'm not going to show up because why waste my time, right? It's kind of a uh, feedback mechanic. If more people show up, then even more people will show up. If nobody shows up, then nobody will show up. Because if, you, if you're the only one there, you're going to be like, nah, I don't want to, nah, I'm not going to show up next week. Anyway, very, very good news. Uh, leave me a comment below if you if you like the new artwork or you like the old one or what you expect the price of this card to be. Anyway, that's it, guys. Bye.